Hey everybody, this is David at Barnyard Bees. It's Monday, March 14th. We just got past that cold snap that we had uh, Friday, Saturday night. And it today's probably, it's windy out. Bees are really moving good. It's probably, I don't know, maybe 55 maybe today. As the week goes on, it's gonna get warmer and warmer. Uh, one thing I wanted to talk about, and a lot of people come this time of the year, and even way back before this, they'll say, hey, when can I make splits? And one thing I gotta keep telling everybody is be patient. You know, just being in a hurry and making those splits too early, you're gonna pay the price. Uh, wait. Let's make sure that the, that the nighttime temperatures get up into the upper 40s and 50s preferably. Uh, it, it, and the colder it is, remember the colder it is, the heavier a split you got to make. Because you got to have something to keep that brood warm. And the later you go in the spring when nighttime temperatures are 70 degrees, well, then it makes it so much easier to do smaller splits. So just, it, there's no timeline I can give you. It's just, you got to watch, watch out for the, watch out for the weather. You know, look at your 10 day forecast. It's not always correct. But w when you see temperatures getting into the upper forties at night for the low, then you can start doing heavy splits preferably with at least three frames of two or three frames of heavy with a lot of bees in it you got to be safe because uh, chill brood can happen and and believe me we've been through a lot of it a lot of times you know we're, we're trying to grow a lot of bees really fast and we'll take chances and it just don't pay off it just uh you'll make 10 or 15 splits go out there and lose 10 or 15 splits because of cold nights. It got down here in North Georgia. I think the coldest it got 17 or 18 degrees. Now this is just out of the blue. This is just, you know, we're having 70 some degree weather day after day after day, bam, one night. Right up there, look there. That was my blueberries. That was me trying to save the bloom on the blueberries and I failed. It didn't make it. I'm pretty sure they didn't. If there's any on there left, uh, it would surprise me that there, there's any in there. The ambient te temperature just got so cold. And, and if you, any of you don't know what ambient means, it's just the air surrounding it. Because uh, some people say, well, keep the frost off of it. That don't do any good. I mean, it will if you're 30, 30 some degrees and you got a frost. But when the, when the surrounding air is 17 degrees, 18 degrees, man, you better... Uh, surround it with a greenhouse or a house and it was just a shot in the dark chance uh, that we tried to save them and this is two years in a row that we've lost our blueberries two years in a row and up until that we never did and we've had these for uh, 20 years probably these blueberries so it's just the it's just the luck it's just bad luck and the same way with these splits uh, now, I don't have a choice when it comes to those blueberries. When they bloom, they bloom, and there's nothing I can do about it. They wasn't even bloomed out. They would just uh, budded really heavy, but that's all it took. With temperatures that low, not a chance. So I'm just almost positive that they're all gone. Even with trying to bundle them up real tight, it just doesn't do any good when it's that cold. Now, what, what happens? Okay, when... Those of you who don't know, new beekeepers or somebody that's only been into a couple of years or a year, chill brood is when there's when there's not enough bees to cover the the frames, and it's a it's a you're doing a split, and it's it gets so dang cold out that there's there's just no way for them to to stay warm and they die. That's what chill brood is. The, the, the ambient air, the temperatures outside uh, get cold, too cold for a splits and you lose them. So be patient, be patient. Especially if you're only starting off with a handful of bees 
you got all spring to do this. You know, I've told people before, you know, towards the end of March. But be careful with that. You know, even me telling you that, watch out for your, uh, watch out for your temperatures. You got to, or you're going to lose these bees. So remember that splits, try to keep preferably upper forties. Um, uh, because if it gets cold and, the, and that there are not enough bees and you're doing small splits with few bees, you're going to lose them. You're going to lose that uh, brood and you're going to lose your split. And see like this, this little colony here, it's pretty packed out. So when I do a split on it and some of these other ones that are packed out, um, I think I'm going to wait a little bit this year. I'm not going to push push it like I do every year because it's almost like a 50-50 chance. Same way with the garden. I did this last year. I got my tomatoes planted, potatoes, uh, green, not green beans, uh, peppers, and lost them. Lost them all because I was, I was trying to hurry. I was trying to hurry up and get them out and be the, uh, get an early, early crop, but it just doesn't pay off. Especially like, you know, not going off on talking about gardening, but when that ground temperature it's not up to a certain point, they lay dormant there anyway. So keep that in mind if you're a gardener. Uh, when those night, when that ground temperature has to get to a certain temperature before those things will even start growing. So basically you're taking a chance for nothing. And, but it's, but it's, uh, it's tempting every year when you, when you have uh, temperatures on your days off that are 75, 80 degrees and you're like, man, I gotta get these tomatoes out. You know, keep in mind, there's a, around the corner is a, a frost that, that'll get you. And sure enough, it didn't. Had to replant them. And the plants aren't cheap this year. Um, or, or last year. So keep that in mind, folks. Just a little tip from Barnyard Bees. Don't forget, be keeping supplies, packages, nukes, all kind of tools, whatever you need, barnyardbees.com. And don't forget, if you would please help share our videos, click on the little bell. That helps spread our videos out. Uh, if you would share our videos on uh, all the platforms, uh, uh, Facebook, YouTube, Instagram, whatever you can, would really appreciate it. And that's about it. Thanks for watching. Barnyard Bees.